What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with another video. In today's video, we'll be doing a tutorial on how to edit, add, and delete tiles on Wear OS. Now for reference, I'm using the Moto 360 and the Fossil Gen 5e Wear OS smartwatches and the process seems to be similar for both devices. It looks like we also had a recent update on Wear OS, which also changed the appearance of the lock screen. And I just want to know, what do you think about it? Let us know in the comments below. Now you can find both these Wear OS devices at the Amazon storefront link in the description below. As always, I only feature products or services I buy or like to buy. This gives the channel more credibility and appeal because we feature items that interest me and change the way we live. Don't have time to watch the whole video? We're now a podcast you can find on multiple platforms by searching for Pixels Cracked. You can also support the podcast by downloading the Anchor app and making a small monthly donation on that platform. And if you are listening to this on a podcast, you can find the more detailed video and YouTube channel by searching for Pixels Cracked as well. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So let's talk about how to edit a tile. One of the rules here is that you can't edit a tile when on your watch face, which is the main screen on your Wear OS device when you unlock it. Pressing and holding on it simply pulls up the edit settings for the watch face itself. So to actually edit a tile, you want to swipe to a tile itself and press and hold on it. This opens up the settings to edit your preset tiles. Here we can swipe to a tile we wish to edit. The selected tile can then be moved more forward in the list or further backwards in the list. Next we can add a tile. So again, we're going to swipe to one of our preset tiles and we're going to press and hold on it. And then we're going to swipe to the left until we get to a screen that says add a tile. And there'll be a plus icon here and we're going to tap on that. Now that'll bring up a new window here where we can pick a tile and we can navigate through this list here and find a tile we wish to add. We're going to go with headlines and tap on that. And then you're going to see it's going to add the headlines tile in there. And again, we can move this through the list as we wish. And then the last thing we have here is tile limit. So we're going to swipe to a preset tile and we're going to press and hold on it again. And we're going to swipe to the left until we get to that add a tile screen again. And you can see on the Moto 360, if I try to add another tile, we have a five tile limit. Now this is just on the Moto 360. It looks like the Fossil Gen 5e has a 10 tile limit. So if you're looking for a device where you can have the most information as possible, the more tiles, you'd want to go with the Fossil Gen 5e because of its 10 tile limit. Lastly, we can delete any tiles we have preset. So again, we're going to swipe to one of our preset tiles and we're going to press and hold on it. And then any tile we wish to delete, we can either swipe up or we can swipe down and that will delete the tile. So final thoughts. Tiles allow you to have more of the information you desire available for faster accessibility, which makes this a life improving technology. Now, when it comes to performance, Wear OS handles tile customization really well on the Moto 360 and the Fossil Gen 5e. Overall, I'm very happy with tile customization on Wear OS. So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please leave a like. If you're watching this on YouTube and have any questions or comments, as always, drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now, there are three ways you can support the channel and podcast. The first way is to click on the Amazon storefront link found in the description below. There you'll find items that I have bought or would like to buy and anything you buy from the storefront does support the content. The next way you can support us is just by sharing this video or podcast with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way you can support us is just by clicking the subscribe or follow button. Now, liking and subscribing are important. Those are your ways to vote on whether you like the video or the podcast. Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers and listeners. If new viewers and listeners see likes and subscribers, they're going to think that the content is helpful, worth watching and listening to. So that is pretty much it. And until next time, Leon checking out. Yeah.